At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. So here we are, you ready for takeoff, dude? Uh -huh. mm. Unconditional. This is loopy. Uh -huh. mm. Perusing there. What's on the menu today? What have we got? We've got the uh, oh, the entree is is, is uh, we're doing big six first. We're gonna skip the entree and have the entree for dessert. Mm. And we use the daisy cutter for the steak. Yeah. Oh, that's, we will not be doing that today, I don't think. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But the rest of it is all nailed down. Then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwillingly to school. Felt Now is a uh, is a, the first track on the album, probably the most uh, complicated to mix out of all the songs. Had lots of stuff on it, coming in and out, and I think gave Edge a bit of a headache when he was mixing it. Felt Now that that started off as a me fucking around with reverse delay, and it sounded a bit frippy, Robert Fripp. But in the end, it just sounds like some Lou Reed tune and a bit of the Sex Pistols. The third now is uh, probably the one song I really can't say much about at all. Not because it's a bad song or because it's uh, not important. Um, I think it's a very good song. Um, but I really don't know what to say about it.
come, whatever punched me in the face. <laughs> then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the bard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. Big Six is our big Southern American rock song with, um, with uh, Aaron doing his, uh, his best double lead guitar solo um, and um, Simon sounding like he was possessed by something. So Big Six, um, I was actually ripping off a Yola Tango tune but it ends up sounding like Fortunate Son by Credence and uh, I enjoy playing these sort of stiff cock power chords like you know I'm in UMI or something and after 40 years playing guitar I think I finally nailed a Ron Ashton style guitar solo which is just a pentatonic going in circles like an idiot but I think it sounds all right Oh, that's my favourite song of the record. As I keep telling everyone, uh, I think it's uh, it's a hit. Uh, it's I uh, just love everything about it. I uh, love um, the guitar, the drumming, the bass, the lyrics, the singing. Um, I think it's a it's a perfect. Uh, it's a perfect hit, headbanging. Rocking, rocking old song. That's what it is. Yeah. So. Thank you, mate. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This next song is, is, is against any any wars uh, in the future, in the past, or and there's no such thing as the present, so we don't have to worry about it now. <laughs> But it's also on side with the kids from the council estates that really aren't faced with a awful lot of choice. Okay.
And then the lava, sighing like a furnace, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. Daisy Chain, spontaneous decision to do a kind of a, what would you call it, a sort of freak folk song from the 70s of some sort, with, uh, with, with Zonka playing the, the tall string guitar playing his uh, G chords and F chords in a way that I can never manage. And I've been trying to do it since and I haven't got it yet. Daisy Chain, well, I had nothing to do with that. That was you and Zonka trying to be poofters or something, <laughs> you know. Hippies, sorry. Nah, I shouldn't say. You, you're trying to be like flower children in, you know, hanging out at some park in London in 1968, it's taking acid. It's a nice tune. Daisy Chain is a, is a bit of a surprise because it's so beautiful and um, I didn't think that uh, you and me would actually pull it off like that as we did but I think it's a, it's a very, uh, uh, very tender song with beautiful lyrics and it gives you a, it's, it kind of turns around the whole incredible and shtick uh, it's sort of like a, in a way that's what the grand plays are about. I think. Uh, Daisy Chain is sort of like a, uh, it's, it's a release, it's, it's freedom and it's love. <laughs> Come and make a daisy chain Thread this blossom round your throat I don't think it's going to rain You might as well take off your coat It seems a shame to pick the flowers when they look so pretty bad But I could sit and watch for hours The petals dancing through your hair Oh won't you make a daisy chain Although the petals wilt and die Come the dawn, they'll bloom again Let's go to your place and get high Get high Great Storm was uh, Zonka brought it in It's a Frank Zappa riff it sounds very nice it's very simple to play and it's very effective and my guitar I think sounds like Roland Howard because I was using a jazz master Great Storm is the uh, um, is like F F Frank Zappa mashup of sorts um, it's uh, a song that Strangely enough, a few of us liked as our favourite Zappa song before we even knew of each other, um, and we've uh, we've uh, put the track to um, we put the, the it's an instrumental and we put the track down and Simon sings stuff on top about the storm in the eighties um, with his then girlfriend I guess who wears the old fashioned boots that he wears. Well, Perfect Storm, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with as well. I'm, I'm very happy about the whole record, but uh, we'll get to that. Um, but uh, Perfect Storm is, is again, um, a bit like Daisy Train. It's, it's very unconventional, and it's not really like the usual stuff the Krennicles do. Um, it's got a lot of space. It's very visual, it's very, it's a bit like watching a movie and I think we actually managed to bring that across 
it's sort of like you, you don't have to necessarily understand the lyrics but it's always good to actually understand the lyrics uh, which you can like you, know, you can understand every word song sings and uh, it's so free it's like a, it's a statement of freedom again in a way like you know, I think most incredible played songs are basically about freedom you know, the freedom to do what you want to do and to be able to do it in a way that yeah, it kind of it just sort of works. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, I really enjoy playing it and recording it. And, uh, yeah. It's a perfect storm. <laughs> <laughs> And then the justice in fair round belly with good cape and line, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. Peak Love is our attempt to be the Happy Mondays uh, by doing a kind of a repetitive kind of uh, early 90s da dance track. Um, the bass line came from Zonka. So Zonka's really the foundation of this song. Yeah. Well, Big Love is, is a very special song for, for my point of view because it's, uh, it's again, like all the other, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's, it's again very un, un incredible like in a way that it's, it's so disco and so driving, it's, it's a great school very danceful and uh, it, frees, it frees you up, it, sort of, it makes you dance, you want to dance with the song. You know? it's, it's so funky and but very simple as well, so I think anyone in the world can relate to that song in a way. Peak Love, we jammed it, we actually hadn't even, didn't have it finished and, and I think it's worked out fantastically and I have visions of it being played in some late night nightclub where there's 20 something hipsters that have just come back from Berlin and they're taking lots of you know ecstasy and smoking lots of weed and dancing to it and I really enjoy playing it because it's got a nice beat and I'm gonna ask some people I know to remix it and make it even sexier <laughs> <laughs> Run it, run it, run it, MC.
The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons, the spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice turning again toward childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Chains I actually pulled out of my ass. I just bought this fancy delay pedal and I actually wrote the whole riff fucking around with the delay pedal. That's all I did. It was just like, oh, this sounds good. Do -do 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 -do. I just wanted to hear how the delayed sound sounded. And it sort of sounds like a post-punk kind of thing, which I like. Well, Chains is probably my favourite song in terms of... Uh... The lyrics, I just love the lyrics so much. It's very political, uh, philosophical, without being preachy. But, uh, we don't preach. We never, we never preach. So whatever you want to read into the Ukrainian plans, it's really up to you. Um, but we don't tell anyone what to think or what to do or how to live their lives or whatever. And, uh, but trains is a bit like a, it's almost like a historical statement. So, yeah. Chains is, uh, what can you say about Chains? We, we haven't been playing it much lately, that one. Um, uh, it's, um, it's got a lot of potential. <laughs>
that ends this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. song it's the perfect finale because it combines almost anything we've ever done within this band but plus um, uh, we used um, a lot of uh, guest musicians we've got a, like a, a three piece female backing choir which they did a fantastic job uh, it's got soul it's it's a story in itself and uh, it's very Australian. It's it's like our kind of like a anchor to Australia. Like we all come from different places, except Aaron is born in Melbourne, I suppose. He's the only Australian. <laughs> but we all come from different places, and um, it's a statement about respect, respect for the country, respect for the first peoples. Um, and it's also respect for the human soul. And it's uh, very danceable. Um, it's a perfect finale, I think. So, yeah. That's kind of a, like a, the big finale soul number with, um, with backing singers and yelling and screaming and percussion and all kinds of stupid stuff going on in the background. I like that song. I think Shotgun's the best thing I've ever done. It started off us trying to play some soul tune and it ended up becoming this kind of talking heads meets midnight oil meets mercury rev ecstatic psychedelic jam and I think it's fantastic and I want to hear it played on the radio because it takes up so much time to play it. Like, I think that's a real conceit that it goes for eight minutes, but it feels like three minutes. And I think it's fantastic, and I hope everyone loves our record. I do, I hope that we have 10 pressings of it. <laughs> Done. Thank you.